Here's another little video coming at you, just continuing this 1974 Chevrolet Love with the LS1 swap. We are attempting to use as many factory gauges as we can, and this is just our little journey of making that happen. Working on the coolant gauge, I've got the coolant sender already plumbed in. We purchased an adapter to fit in the back of the head that the sensor would fit into and also purchased a connector for it just like the OEM style. I'll leave part numbers down in the description. Today we are going to land this wire inside the cab terminating on the gauge cluster. Utilizing the love schematics I've located the original sender position so we just trace that wire back. We've actually got two different spots we could land it. We could land it out here in the actual compartment or we could just run it back to more or less where it hooks up to the gauge which I'm, we're going to go that route because it's just a little cleaner i like it but we've traced it back to position number three so we're going to find that wire behind the gauge cluster and tie into it i did not think it would be this simple they've got it labeled all the numbers you can see back here one two three through twelve for the coolant gauge, we're hitting number three, the yellow and black striped wire. So we're gonna just kind of splice into it, solder it, tape it, and done. All spliced in, great tape job. <laughs> Not really, but making mine where I can remove it. So I'll put a little spade connector down here because I plan on removing that whole engine harness, looming everything up. But in theory, what we just did should operate this coolant temperature gauge. i let it know cold, hot, medium, whatever it needs to be. Hope this video helped you do the same. We will be working on the mill light next. So if you want to stay tuned, subscribe, give me a like. Peace out.